viewers of Biotechnica. This is Caroline Green from Biotechnica. So today I'll be talking about the top 10 HR questions asked in a biotech job interviews. Yes, after your master's or after your bachelor's, you would be going in for many interviews. First, you will be writing a ret return test and then you will be going for a technical round of interview and then a group discussion. And finally, you will go for the HR interview, which is like a personal interview. There they used to ask most commonly asked questions by all the HR. So today in this video, I'll be talking about what are the top 10 HR questions that they will be asking in all the biotech uh, job interviews. So come along with me and let's talk about the complete topic in detail. So what's the first question that you can expect from a HR in a biotech interview? So the first question is, why do you want to work for it? Suppose if you're going for a biotech company or biopharma company. So usually they will ask you why you really wanted to work for that company. How can you help them in advancing their research? So this is a very important thing that you have to understand. One thing is, of course, everybody talks about your personal things. When you start off with any kind of interviews, they'll start with tell me about yourself, which is a common question for everybody after asking this question the most important question is they will ask this type of question so what you have to do when you hear this question is showcase yourself that how much research you have done about the company whenever you go for the company when whether it's a biopharma company or biotechnic uh, company Always remember to know many things about the company, like uh, the present research that's been going on in the company, what's the drug that has been manufactured, what's the product that's been manufactured recently. So how do they uh, gradually increase in the market? Uh, global scenario, how do they rank a bit? So everything you need to know, which means you have to tell them that you have served or researched a lot about the company. And apart from that, you have to tell them how you are going to help them. So if it's a large biotech company or biopharma, company what you can do is you cannot talk about the complete sector you can communicate to the employee who is working in the company and you can get to know what exactly the company has presently produced in the market and how you can help the company in the same process that's been going on if they are uh, carrying out a drug that's been designed and how you can help them in designing the same protocols also. So by this way, you will get to know like, yes, you are fit enough for the company as well as you have a real thought process of doing a research about the company because doing a research about the company uh, doesn't takes you like five minutes or 10 minutes. It takes a lot of period for you to analyze the company, which shows to them that you are interested in joining the company. So this is the first question. Whenever you go for a company, analyze the company, do a research about the company, what's the present scenario, what's been done so far. And after that, showcase what you have done or what you have researched about the company. This is the most important thing that you're going to do it. So the second question that HR asks you is why should we consider you above all other candidates? Yes, of course, if you're applying for a company, there would be many people who would be applying for the same job profile. So they will ask you why they have to consider you instead of other candidates who have applied for this job. So this is the time that you have to showcase your success and you have to showcase your future goals. You have to showcase your achievements and what are the experience that you got from the previous company and how you can use all those experiences and you can implicate the same in this company and how you play a major role in fitting the company's job profile. Suppose if the company asks for a very specific uh, skills you should tell them that you have those skills and you've been working on the same thing and you have achieved in it also so that you become a very fit to the company you don't have to compare it with the other people who will be coming for the company but instead you have to prove yourself that you are very good enough to fit to this job profile that they are asking for so this you have to take into consideration the third question that you can expect is they may ask you what are your short-term goals and long-term goals so this question i would suggest is tailor your questions according to the job profile or descri descriptions that's given for you suppose you can have a question suppose there is going to be a company where you have applied in case of biotechnology company or biopharma company what you can say is my long-term goal is similar to that of the long-term goal that the company goes 
or you can say the drug suppose if you want to design a drug for a breast cancer and the company is working on the same goal then you can say this is my long term goal which is incorporated with the same company or which is similar to that of the company's goals also so this is my long term goal or they can ask you in a different way like uh, how where you will be in after 5 or 10 years that's your long term goal and your short term goal you can talk about what's the present achievement that you want to achieve in your professional life that you have to talk about this one so this is the third third question that you can commonly expect from the hr question the next important question is what is your greatest strength and your greatest weakness so this question is a trap actually uh, what you have to remember is uh, the number one rule i can say is do not be too negative yourself or do not showcase your weakness a lot so what you can do is just tell that suppose if you're not knowing any other things or you should not tell them the weaknesses that is very important for the job suppose if you're going for a job where a certain a skill or a technique is required if you know almost like 80% of the technique you can definitely go for the job but you should not show a very negative impression which technique or very important for the job profile you should not show that weaknesses but you can tell them like uh, you are someone who is very much interested in knowing the roles and responsibilities and you would implicate the same and you are a very good learner even if you don't know you should show your willingness to learn anything faster but never be too much negative or too much telling about your weaknesses instead tell in a way that you can learn yourself or willing to learn anything faster but do not show like you don't know that technique or skills or anything which is very important for the job the next important question is you don't have the experience or background for this position how could you handle it there are some times when you apply for a job you would not be having a experience if you are going to be a fresher you would not have an experience very especially when you are applying for a biotech or biopharma company or even for a research position that time they will ask you you don't have an experience or a background then how are you going to handle in this job profile if they are asking you the main purpose of this question is they're going to analyze how you're going to face the objections from the other people are you going to take it in a positive way or not that's the main purpose of this question what you have to do is you have to tell them that your qualification and the experience not maximum experience the little bit of experience that you have got is more enough similar or applicable to the job profile that you are applying to it and you can build up the conversation you can open a dialogue between them it will become an interactive session and you can ask them what do you feel to the hr or what do you feel that i am missing in this uh, criteria you can ask them and then you can tell them that you are fit enough for the company since you have the qualification you have the background and you have a little bit of experience you can say that because this question is trying to portray like how you're going to face objections in the company anything that's going to be negative are you going to take it in a negative way that's the main purpose of this question okay the sixth question uh, this question i would say when uh because of this scenario like covid scenario everything happened and it's about life science of biotech so what are your thoughts on the current landscape of life sciences if you're going for a biotech or biopharma company they will think about uh how knowledgeable you are enough in the life science sector so what do you think uh, this life science field is going to be because after covid 19 or after this economy or any sort of problems that happen how do you think this covid 19 will affect the biotech industry or biopharma industry and the way we operate so they expect you whether you know the current scenario and how this scenario is going to implicate in the forthcoming days that's what the main motto so you can tell them like covid 19 has literally made a lot of discovery exactly and people started doing lot of research on the specific virus also so definitely this is going to make a market in the upcoming days so this is based on the biotech or biopharma or the present scenario the next question what is it about this job that is more exciting to you since you are applying for a very specific job role suppose let's take it qa or qc or regulatory affairs whatever it is this is an hr interview this is not a technical interview they might ask you what makes you to be excited to apply for this job so you should tell the real truth that you are really passionate enough to take up this career and why you wanted to go for the company also tell what excites you the most to join the company in this specific job role and the next important question is what is your present salary if you're working in the previous company they may ask you what's your present salary and they can ask you what's your expectations so this may vary according to the job profiles that you are applying to it so accordingly you can decide 
and you can tell them what's your expected salary also to the HR. So the ninth question for you is explain a time when you ran into a problem and how did you solve it? This is most important. Suppose in the previous company you were uh, in a problematic situations of uh, doing a project and how did you overcome them and what are the techniques or strategies you use to solve those things? So you have to be very specific and give an example that how you overcome those problems. So this might be one of the questions that you can commonly expect in any of the interviews. The last question they will ask you is, do you have any questions for me? Which means you have come to the end of the interview process. So this time what you have to do is you have to show an interest that you really wanted this job profile and you really wanted uh, to join this company. And you should tell how, how many days you can expect from them, which shows you are interested in it. And you should finally thank them for the interview process. And you can tell them that you are expecting uh, the call from the HR within some days, like a week or something else. So you should thank them finally and end the session. So this is about the top 10 HR questions that will be asked in the biotech job interviews. It's not the technical session, which will be carried based on the biotechnology questions. It is from the HR during the personal round of interview or HR interview. This is the most common questions. So I'm going to ask you one question. So you can just put it in the comment section also. Uh, what is the most important thing that you get excited when you're going for a job? So put it in the comment section. And what are the other questions that you can expect in the HR round? So thank you all of you for joining. And I'm going to meet you back again in the next video.